asked this question or made this statement. He said, if you are the son of God, command these stones to be turned into bread. So he questioned his sonship. Are y'all hearing this here? But remember what we talked about from verse 11. That after the baptism, that voice came from heaven and God said, you are my beloved son. Y'all better catch this. So God spoke and declared Jesus' sonship so when the devil comes in the wilderness to tempt Jesus about his sonship, he already has a word in him. In other words, God gave Jesus the answer to the test before Satan brought the test. Y'all better catch this. While you're sitting in here tonight, when you come on Sunday, when you come anytime you come in a service and you're getting the word, you're sitting there at home and you're reading the word of God, what you're doing is you're loading up yourself on the answers ahead of the test. Y'all got to catch that. Y'all got to catch that. Some Christians make the mistake of only reading the Bible when they're in the test. Some people wait until they're in the storm to go and try to find a scripture. Uh, let me, let me, let me figure. Okay, what, what pastor has said? Uh, uh, no, 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 no. No, the way God works is if you are a student of the word of God, if you are in the right kind of place and have the right kind of mindset, he loads you up with all the answers prior to the test. Yeah. 